it was it was awesome to be able to lean on Christian's ability to craft these breakaway weapons because it's one thing to to say that I want them to smash through the weapon here and I want them to to be kicked through the wall there. That's all all well and good, but unless you have a way to execute that, it's just it's just words. There are a lot of interesting nuance and there's a lot of um, interesting dynamic moves and breakaway weapons, breakaway walls, things that we try to implement to elevate this beyond just a bunch of ninjas punching a guy in a room. So I had a couple of Bakken that uh, was breaking down and then Josh managed to get hold of um, a couple of like plastic katana. So one of those I had cut in half, had magnets holding it together and some like coffee stirrers. So when I first used the Iron Fist, this big moment, all slow-mo, flames coming in and a guy's coming at me with a sword and I smashed through that sword. So that was all practical. It was a breakaway sword that, uh, yeah, that one worked out pretty well. And then so Orson Randall has, he has his guns. So there's a, couple of 1911 Browning pistols. For the most part, they are just like the, the plastic airsoft ones that don't need the action that I can just have in here or have in my hands that aren't, I guess more like stunt safety. And then the hero versions that had the action on them. And then I had a version that I cut the barrel off because when I'm, when I'm shooting at one guy and a sword comes in from the hand that's gonna chop my hand off. I pull it back and it chops the barrel off. So. I had a version that uh, was 3D printed, had a magnet inside that uh, I could attach the barrel and it could come off quite easily. So it got hit and we could do it practically. We wouldn't have to worry so much about the effects and whatnot. That lasted for one swing of sword and then broke. I legit had my hand set on fire, which is what we, we wanted to do for all of the Iron Fist, Iron Foot stuff was, uh, was actually have that and we had these these tests where uh, Ian you know put the flame gel on and we actually set fire to hands and just, just to test out what it would look like. We spent some time over at Ian's doing some burn tests and there's a lot more involved with utilizing fire on set than, than you would think initially. There's a, not only the safety aspect, but there's a lot of different people needing to work together and coordinate their efforts in order to keep everybody safe. After the burn test, we had a lot of conversations around, is it worth investing the time and energy and effort into doing burns on set? Because stunts in and of themselves take a lot of time and that's this entire piece was just one large stunt piece. So uh, it, we automatically were moving a little bit slower than your average set because it's not just like set Set up shot, reverse shot, dialogue. Uh, we're doing, uh, you know, hard falls, weapon breaks, uh, you know, all this high energy, high paced fighting, and uh, and there's there's room for people to get injured, and so we need to keep everybody safe. And so with the tight timeline that we had, uh, we decided that it wasn't probably going to happen in terms of being able to do real fire with the constraints of, of, of what, what we had. But the, the burn test was super pivotal and instrumental in allowing us to explore the look development of, of this final, the final VFX in this piece. But that intro we did uh, outside and um, that was my hand legit on fire as the Iron Fist. So trying to do all that stuff practically, I think, I think it, it definitely, uh, on the day gives you a great sense of like, we really like, oh, that worked out, that looked really cool. And you're not relying on like, well, it will look great later when we do some stuff to it. Like you can actually see the effect of it. And I would always rather do things practically than, uh, then sort of rely on fixing it in post, if you like. When it came to the action design, we spent a lot of time honing what that camera was doing. There's a lot of stuff that happens that 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 uh, you have to pivot and evolve. Say that there's a wall here when there wasn't supposed to be a wall there, and when you're not able to previs in the space, then you then have to pivot on the day, and that changes everything. We were shooting nights, uh, you know, calling a lot of favors, and it was it was frankly an exhausting process. Uh, so, you know, I, I've gone from, I can land a B-twist, I can do it. <laughs> now in full costume, concrete floor, wearing boots. Um, and yeah, sometimes it just, just doesn't come out the way you planned. That's kind of the beauty of, of these low budget short films and, and filmmaking in general is while it's awesome to have things perfect in your mind and, and, and want to create a vision that you chase after, there's also something to be said for the final product and what it is and what it became. And you could, because it, it becomes a different best thing that you want to make. And you're always trying to craft the best thing that you can. And, and it's pretty awesome because I love being able to sit here two years out. We're coming up on two years from when we shot this thing. 
and look back and be like, man, that was fun. It was an exhausting shoot, but I'm very, very proud of what we did. I want to give a huge, huge shout out to the ninja that came out. Like, these guys playing multiple roles, really giving it their all over night shoots, and all of those guys are absolute rock stars. A huge thank you to Amir, who, who, who did the flame simulations, just uh, a killer, and Ryan, who helped with the comping. The Crane Sisters, Lee, Chiuzo, Pei, Tram, KO, Oasis, the wardrobe, and, and the makeup was spot on. You know, Ian, our stunt coordinator, is just a, a rock star. Thank you for, for always being there and keeping people safe. Uh, all you guys gave so much time, so much effort, uh, bringing your own weapons at times as well. Um, just, yeah, really came and really brought it and, and made the project uh, so much more special to have that kind of effort and just to, just to give that energy on a night shoot. Thank you for putting your trust in us. Thank you for putting your faith in us. It's, it's, it's been a journey, but, but man, it's, it's cool. And, uh, and we can't wait for you guys to see it. Thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you liked this one, let us know what you thought about it in the comments below. I'm very, very proud of this one. It's, uh, it's been a passion project of ours for, for quite some time. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you'd like to see and uh, catch you guys on the next one.